you're at the office and your mechanic calls to let you know that your car's tail lights aren't working. Not only, the mechanic also asks if you are available to make an appointment for the repair. Wait, how did he know? Nothing to do with stalkers or spies. No worries. The answer is simple than you think. Your car reported a failure through a sensor connected to the mechanical's workshop. Life is much easier that way, isn't it? That's why many experts predict an increase of connected devices in the coming years. Communication between devices allows the exchange of thousands of data. And this, in the business environment, is an amazing innovation that opens up many possible applications. Welcome to the world of the Internet of Things. A rapidly emerging technology transforming our lives. Let's find out what can be done with IoT and what are the benefits for companies. But before we go any further, don't forget to put like and subscribe to my channel. Internet of Things, as known as IoT, is a neologism that describes a network of physical devices connected through the use of sensors, software, and technology. The purpose is to interact with people and objects or between objects by exchanging data and information. In this context, devices can connect to the network, communicate their status and data on their work, such as statistics and more, and access useful information for their functioning in a completely automatic way. These features facilitate, for example, the monitoring of automated tasks by reporting failures in a short time and initiating the maintenance process, which translates into significant time savings and problem resolution. The applications of IoT are extensive. Just think about smart cities and smart buildings, but also personal everyday devices. Today we are surrounded by wearable technology, such as smartwatches, smart glasses, and so on. Among these exciting applications, there is also, and especially one I like the most, the Industrial Internet of Things, which is a subset of IoT, and it refers to its use in manufacturing and industrial fields. And what about you? What's the IoT application you like the most? Comment below and let me know. Basically, the benefits related to the implementation of IoT within the company concern organizational, productivity, and customer satisfaction aspects. Of course, it's only a part of the benefits. The best results are achieved when IoT is combined with automation and artificial intelligence. In fact, when it comes to emerging technologies, I firmly believe that one plus one is greater than two. I know I'm an engineer and I shouldn't say so. I may lose my degree right now, but not literally. It means the union of two or more emerging technologies together can unlock an unprecedented potential. Do you agree? Put a like if you do. Anyway, going back to the IoT, an interesting survey from Microsoft ranked the main benefits of IoT. Let's analyze them. Number one, reduced costs and increased efficiency. Smart objects don't replace people, but they do perform the routine making the work of human resources alienating, and in many cases, a waste of time. Here's an example. If you have a car leasing company and a huge fleet of cars, the installation of a control unit which provides information remotely, kilometers traveled, fuel levels, allows you to get more effective management and at the same time, a significant cost saving. The networking of devices generates a huge amount of data. Processing some of this data can have an immediate effect on the resolution of failures, for example. At the same time, processing other data can be of no immediate use, but it can serve to optimize and improve decision-making strategy and create benefits which impact all departments. A path that, in the long run, generates efficiency and cost saving. This is the only way to be sure of getting the most out of the investment made to connected devices through the IoT. Number two, reduce human error. Human error is inevitable. This doesn't mean accepting it, but making a constant effort to implement technologies and solutions that will reduce the risk of generating it. There are many delicate areas where concentration and speed of action are required and where it's worth investing. For example, 
in production companies. An error may be repeated on several products in a short period of time, generating a large amount of waste. The quality control of the manufacturing execution system, which interfaces with IoT technologies, allows detecting the information collected by the sensor present on the production line and evaluating anomalies in real time. Once the alert is received, timely action is taken to optimize the process before generating waste. Number three, increase employee productivity. Emerging technologies and smart working in the realities which have been able to exploit their potential have already improved the employee's performance. The Internet of Things has interconnected departments, increased the mobility of employees, and also affected their safety. An example, wearable devices widely deployed in the consumer market as fitness support or as an extension of smartphones have proven important for monitoring workers' health and people working in risk environments. Cisco, a global leader in networking and IT, has made an estimate of the connected devices per capita in the coming years, and the results are astonishing. By 2023, there will be 3.6 compared to 2.4 in 2018, while the machines connected to each other will increase from 33% to 50%. Number four, the benefits of the Internet of Things also involve consumers. The initial example of the mechanic receiving car data and setting up a troubleshooting appointment is just one of the many ways IoT offers businesses ways to improve the customer experience. Increasing customer satisfaction is a significant benefit for B2C businesses. Sending data from devices inside the home, such as a refrigerator, washing machine, or oven, allows the manufacturer to remotely detect anomalies, assess how they are operating, and analyze, for example, the level of wear and tear on consumable items. The exchange of this data leads to the resolution of problems, in some cases even remotely, and the creation of new products, more performing and increasingly personalized on the final customer. The focus on customer satisfaction translates into solutions designed around their needs, possibly thanks to the large amounts of data provided as feedback. In fact, we are starting to talk about servitization, which means for our business, selling the product accompanied by a series of services to increase its perceived value. It becomes clear that the benefits of the Internet of Things are important, but the networking and data flow generated by this intelligent universe must be adequately protected. Thus, I'd like to mention a quote by Kevin Ashton, the British engineer who coined the term IoT, which states, one of the most important aspects involves a robust plan to keep the system secure. 84% of existing Internet of Things adopters say they have experienced at least one system security breach, with the most common issues being malware, spyware, and human error. 93% of executives expect Internet of Things breaches in the future. Well, as you can see, there is a lot of potential behind the amazing technology of IoT. Who knows how many other innovations the future hold? I believe something surprising. And you? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't wait anymore. Subscribe now to my YouTube channel. Plus, head over to deltalogics.blog and stay up to date with all about the digital world. See you soon. Ciao.